This week in Nerf, we've got leaks, pre-orders, and DPCI codes for your Nerf hunting season. I'm Jay Angular, and every Saturday morning, this is your source for first party, third party, and community Nerf news. Getting right on into it with the first of the new things to talk about. This is the Ballistics Ops Velocity. This is a new blast that was just found by RZ Rider on the Nerf Discord, and... It is a new version of their flywheel rival powered blaster, this time with a higher capacity. As opposed to the 25 that was previously, uh, I believe on the accelerator, this one has a capacity of 40 rounds and a removable hopper. So you could potentially carry multiples of these if you so wanted to invest that way. However, uh, it does also still utilize the same mechanism that will allow you to use things like rival mags if you want to. But again, the, the way those are situated really doesn't look all that great with the sticks, you know, sticking straight up essentially, I believe. Unless they've angled this one slightly different, which is entirely possible, we won't know till we get our hands on it. Uh, this is scheduled for release on the 1st of August at Target and Target.com, so this may very well be an exclusive. It certainly looks like it. There is one other thing that is very interesting about this blaster. And that is the fact that it has an agitator built in. So you may not need to shake your blaster like is so common with some other rival themed blasters to uh, get the rounds to fall into place. This one should have an agitator that should help that function smoothly and, and keep the rounds flowing and moving the way they should. So that's definitely a very interesting and very uh, potentially good addition to this blaster. Uh, we don't have a price as of yet, but it's safe to assume generally that it's going to be less expensive than a comparable rival brand blaster. So we'll see uh, when August hits because this one's definitely interesting looking. So there's a lot of cool things happening for rival uh, right now. And actually, let's take us into the next thing I want to talk about, which is a rival blaster. Now, it's not a new Rival Blaster, but it's a new color for the Rival Blaster. And there was a leak on Baidu for blue and red Kronos Blaster images. These were found on Baidu and shared by Marcus Tang uh, across several groups on uh, Facebook and other places. So, this is interesting. Now, we don't have any confirmation that these are real or legit 100%, but it is interesting. It's something that I think a lot of people would like because they do enjoy uh, having their own flavor of things and whatnot and, and options in terms of um, colors and whatnot if you don't want to paint something. But I think with something that was so popular, so well received and so widely praised, this could very well be real. I would not be surprised that these are real because the Kronos was likely a massively well-selling blaster and was very popular, so it makes sense for them to cash in on that uh, for those that want their own blue or red versions of them. Uh, again, no confirmation on this, just, just speculation a little bit here. Uh, I think it's very possible for these to be real. So take that with a grain of salt, of course. Let me know your thoughts down below on these because it is very interesting and I, I certainly would not mind seeing them. Uh, something else that is appearing in August uh, is the Chrono Barrel. The Modulus Line Chrono Barrel that a lot of people have been excited for. It has appeared for pre-order on Amazon Canada. This was found by the super user on Reddit and they posted it up saying they pre-ordered theirs. Uh, it is currently going for $25 Canadian up on that website. However, the press release has it listed at $15 US. So we'll see if there really is a $10 difference between US and Canadian, or if this is someone third party selling for some reason somehow, though I don't think that's the case. Um, but regardless, August 1st for these, which is fantastic. That means we'll be getting them relatively soon along with everything else ideally. And uh, they're, st they're still fairly affordable for a chrono barrel that we, granted, we don't know 100% how reliable it is. I'm looking forward to testing that as soon as it drops. Uh, but still, a nice tool, a nice resource. Even if they are off by a certain margin, if that margin is consistent, we can then uh, educate people about that difference and they can take that into account and then calculate the difference to get a relatively 
safe average number to use for their Chrono Bar, which is awesome. So I'm this is something I'm excited about with a lot of other people, basically. So definitely be on the lookout for that. I'll be curious to see when it hits on Amazon US and other countries to see what the price is like there as opposed to in store. Something else that popped up on Amazon, and this was found by, I believe, Boomtendo. Uh, this is the Halo M6C. This is a different variant of the popular M6 with a slightly different look to it. Definitely, definitely a uh, more aggressive, less sleek look than the current M6. Um, it almost resembles, I, I've had people say like a high Kappa for those of you that are into Airsoft. Uh, it kind of resembles that look slightly, but it's definitely something different. I, I have my my thoughts about it that I'm a little concerned about the, the grip and the way the prime might feel if you put something beefy in it because of all the angles and edges and lines and everything, but we'll see when it comes out. Uh, we don't know when this is hitting, we just know that it should be hitting at some point here. So with that said, uh, be on the lookout for that when it does hit. I will certainly let you all know. Uh, this. We're assuming this is real because it was listed on Amazon and it is listed by Boomco, so I'm thinking it's probably fairly legit. This is probably very real considering it is listed by Boomco official. So it just came out of nowhere, but hey, more options for Boomco means Boomco is not dead yet, which is always a plus. Uh, one other thing to talk about while we are talking about finding all these new blasters, there were a couple posts up on Reddit by the user F Injustice. And uh, he took the time to compile uh, the UPCs, SKUs, DPCIs, all that stuff, um, and is adding them to posts for Adventure Force and Nerf Blasters for those that are out hunting and want to find or want to know what codes to be looking for. He has put them in one place or is working on putting them in one place. So definitely check those out if you are out on the hunt. It is very cool that these are out there. Uh, and available now because it is hunting season. I need to get out. I know I'm checking brick seek. I'm looking for certain things. I'm, I'm fingers crossed I can find them, but uh, it's part of the fun is, is the, the hunt. So I hope this resource will help you find what you're looking for. With that said, let's get into the mod of the week. And this week it comes to us from the Nerfery. Uh, this is a steampunk swarm fire. Now, Steampunk has its own very unique aesthetic and it, it's very visually interesting. This, to me, takes the Swarm Fire shell and makes it far more interesting, not just because of the Steampunk, but because of the way they worked the shell. The cutout on the shell here is absolutely fantastic. It looks like it fits. It looks, uh, it looks very genuine in terms of the way the lines work so i just found this super visually interesting and visually appealing um and to me it was well worth sharing because i've seen minimized stamp uh, or swarm fires where people just take the shell off and use the the little piece inside but not anything like this to give it a skeletal look and give you different layers of visual uh, interest for your eyes to kind of catch on to so i really really enjoyed this and wanted to showcase some cool visual aesthetic work that was very interesting and maybe give you an idea of something new and unique to try on one of your own future mods. So if you want to go check that out, definitely hit the link down below because it is a cool blaster and worth looking at up close. Now for the video of the week, this comes to us from Bobo Lolo. Now normally I don't feature larger channels. I like to showcase smaller channels and, and try to get new eyes on them, but this video to me is well worth sharing, and this is Bobo's Foam Contour from End War 2018 this year. Uh, the reason I want to show this is because he does a good job of hitting up every table he can and showcasing what they have, who they are, and talking with them to give those of you who may not have been able to make it to End War or Foam Con a little bit of a taste of what it was like at the convention portion of it, which I think is great, and I looked forward to watching it last year, and even though I was there this year, I looked forward to watching it this year and enjoyed it because I didn't get to every table, so there were people I missed that I got to see a little bit about from his video. So definitely, definitely worth checking that out. Before we get to that though, just wanna say as always, thank you so much to the patrons of this channel. Uh, if you wanna support the channel on Patreon and get a little bit of more info, more gameplay footage, I do post unedited raw gameplay footage that may or may not make it onto this channel. 
uh, for patrons. I also update two or three times a week of what's going on. I poll for uh, people's opinions on things that should be on the channel or purchases for the channel, things like that. So if you want to be a part of that, definitely go check that out. Every dollar is immensely appreciated. So thank you so much to all of you that do uh, support through Patreon. And even those of you who don't, that even just support through watching the show, that is amazing in and of itself. Uh, so with that said, if you have any thoughts on mods or videos of the week, as always, leave them down below. I love hearing from all of you. And if you want to check out Bobo's FoamCon tour video, click right over here. And as always, if you're new to the channel and enjoyed this video, feel free to hit that subscribe button. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Jangular, and I'll see you next time.